five simple joint accounts to open in a business partnership from businessfirstfamily.com. If you're the co-owner of a new business venture, you and your business partner will need to have open communication and shared financial resources. In this video, you'll learn the five different types of joint business bank accounts, the unique advantages of each option, and which joint business accounts will be the best fit for your unique needs. Joint accounts allow two or more people to own a bank account. Most people tend to think of couples sharing an account, but joint accounts are useful in business too. If you are starting a small business with a partner, you have plenty of options for how to handle your money. In this video, you'll learn all about simple joint accounts for your business. Link your accounts. When going into business, it can be easier to trust partners with linked accounts. Instead of creating a shared account, you and your partner can link existing separate accounts. This allows you to easily transfer funds between the two. This option is a lot more convenient than paying with Venmo or PayPal. That makes it a good joint banking solution for businesses just starting out. Tenants in Common Accounts A tenant in common account is a unique joint arrangement. As you and your partner start to contribute more capital into the business, you might want an extra layer of protection. These joint accounts require multiple people to sign and approve banking activity. This approval would be required for activities such as withdrawals or transfers. When shared between two people, these accounts allow for added security and transparency. Of course, any new business can benefit from a consensus of money management. Shared bank accounts. A simple shared bank account allows business partners to contribute to one account. Using a simple account, you and your partner can contribute to one pool of money. The money can be used by either person for withdrawals, payments, or expenses. With mobile banking apps, it's easy for each account owner to monitor transactions and banking activity. As a result, business partners can use shared funds to get their business off the ground. Traditional joint accounts. A traditional joint account can be used by experienced business partners. Since the account assets can be accessed by anyone with a name on the account, a high level of trust is required. When it comes to small business revenues, you want to have an account for deposits. These accounts are more permanent. Partners can use this joint account over the course of the business. Both partners contribute and withdraw from the account, making it a good financial solution for trusting partnerships. Corporation Bank Accounts if the business is set up as a corporation, a legal business account will be required. This account must be set up as a separate entity, such as a C corporation or an S corporation. While this is not an easy process to set up, as it requires a corporate resolution to open the account, it might be worthwhile. This is the most legitimate way to handle company funds. And later on, it can act as a simple joint account with different levels of control required for various banking activities. This can all be outlined in the corporation documents and bank account rules, making a corporate bank account one of the most secure financial products for growing businesses. Of course, you should go into business with a partner that you can trust. In the beginning, it'll be a good idea to keep your joint bank accounts as simple as possible. You might want to start with linked accounts, then gradually work your way up to a business account for an incorporated business. Be sure to have open discussions with your business partner about the financial needs, budgets, and goals of the company. If you enjoyed the information in this video, please click like below and visit businessfirstfamily.com for more of the same.